Today's video is about supercharging your immune system by gardening. And everybody's been talking about the coronavirus. Who's likely to get it? Uh, I, I think that most of you are probably sick of hearing about quarantines and various types of treatments. And uh, I, I'm getting there too. It's, it's been quite a while. I've been in the house a lot. I haven't gone a lot of places because I'm very susceptible because of some medical issues. But uh, having the best immune system possible is your first line of defense against any disease. And with a strong immune system, you'll have a better chance of fighting off about any infection that comes along, not just COVID-19 or the CCP virus, depending on what you want to call it. Who knows if we're going to have a second wave in the fall. Uh, you might remember, well, you won't remember it, but you might have read about it. In 1919, the flu pandemic was worse the second time around. But there's a, a program that's been around for quite some time. It's called New Start. It's an acronym uh, which will not only help to boost your immune system, but also to lead to better overall health if you make the necessary lifestyle changes. Now, the first letter N stands for nutrition. And when you grow your own produce, especially those high in antioxidants, it helps your body to fight off various pathogens. Also, when you grow your own produce, you tend to have a higher nutrient level in that produce because it's picked uh, right away and you take it in and you process it and, and consume it. Whereas um, otherwise your produce may come from California, South America, Israel, South Africa. There are lots of different places. And when you ship produce that far, you will lose some of your vitamins, especially um, if you have breaks in the skin or bruise, you have what's called oxidation take place. And that will cause your vitamin A, C, and E to break down more quickly than when the skin is intact and it comes to you directly from your garden. Also, when you eat foods to their closest natural state, in other words, raw, you tend to do a little bit better in terms of nutrients than you would if uh, you're processing, especially if you're deep frying something like potatoes. French fries are one of my favorite things to eat, but it's not the best thing for preserving nutrients. The next letter is E, and that's for exercise. And exercise is something you will get if you're gardening because people will hoe and use a spade and dig. They might uh, uh, do some weeding, uh, put hoses out. It's very uh, strenuous. And um, exercise is really good for you because it makes changes in the antibodies in your red blood cells, or I should say, excuse me, white blood cells. And the white blood cells are the body's immune system cells that help fight diseases. And uh, white blood cells will circulate more rapidly during and after exercise, and that could help them to detect the disease a little bit more quickly than they might have otherwise. After exercise ends, the immune system generally returns to normal within a few hours, but if you have a regular exercise regime, that may help that those changes to last longer. So when you're digging and weeding and doing other strenuous activities, you will also burn calories. Uh, anywhere from 100 to a couple of hundred uh, calories per hour, which is good for weight loss, which is going to be a good thing too. Water, uh, and water, I want to emphasize, is extremely important. Uh, w represents the water in the new start. And most people do not drink enough water. And when you're actively gardening, especially if you're out in sunlight, you're going to get thirsty. Uh, don't go for the sodas or the, the adult beverages. Just keep a, a supply of cool water on hand and drink it regularly, even if you don't feel thirsty. Um, the goal is to get eight cups a day, but I'm not aware of any research that says that's exactly what we need. So, uh, but it, it's something to shoot for. When I was doing some research for this video, most experts agree on the fact that about 70% of our immune system response is based on gut and colon health, which is critical to immunity. And making sure that you get enough water daily is one of the most important things to make sure that you're going to maintain your colon health and optimum immunity. Uh, studies have shown that about 80 to 90 percent of all diseases are directly or indirectly related to toxins that are found in the colon and drinking water will help flush these toxins out. Also uh, the amount of water you drink will have an effect on your blood and lymph flow and I know that from the fact that um, if I go to get a blood draw and I'm dehydrated they end up poking me more often and sometimes they have difficulty uh, getting blood out because you, the, ma the majority of the constituent of your blood is water. So when you're well hydrated, water provides a necessary fluidity to your blood and the lymph system 
so that the essential nutrients that you take in uh, when you eat your food uh, can get into the cells and help remove these toxins. Water is also a major contributor to certain enzymatic processes that break down these toxic compounds to get introduced to your body in a whole host of ways. Inside the lymph vessels are antibodies called gamma globulins, which have immune functions and enzymes called lysozymes, which have antibacterial effects. In order for the immune system to function like it should, good water levels in your body is absolutely necessary. Also, if you're not getting enough water, dehydration can um, improve the uh, infection uh, by viruses and bacteria. The next one is S, which is for sunshine. A lot of times we hear negative things about the sun. I, a lot of times talk about it in my videos, make sure you put on your sunscreen to protect yourself from the UV rays of the sun, and, and that's still true. But um, we do need some exposure to stay healthy. If you look at the nutritional levels in your fruits and vegetables, you will notice that not one of them contains vitamin D. You can't get vitamin D from plants. You either get it from animal sources, supplemental um, vitamins, or your body makes it if you get exposed to the sun enough. And you only need about 15 minutes of sun exposure on your body, which you might go out in the morning uh, before the sun comes up too much and uh, lay out on your deck or something for about 15 minutes and that's all you need. Um, if you're out in the garden uh, in the sun it will help but most likely you may need some vitamin D3 supplements especially if you live in the north. Uh, many people in the north do have a vitamin D deficiency and it is considered critical to immune function. So um, if you want to have your vitamin D check go to your doctor they can do a quick test and they can tell you where you stand. Now, T is for temperance, and that's not a word that we hear a lot about nowadays. Uh, temperance is moderation in action, thought, feeling, or habitual moderation in indulgence of appetites and passions, etc., etc. Uh, you probably heard of the temperance movement at one time, which referred to um, abstinence from alcohol. Uh, we're not really talking about that type of temperance. But in the gardening, you, temperance is not overdoing it. My wife has a habit of going out there and working too long and too hard and then she complains for the next few days of being too sore or she may have pulled a muscle or uh, stressed some joint or something like that. So when you get outside and you're working in the garden, remember temperance. A good workout is good for you, but too much is going to be exhausting and cause other problems. And one of the other things about temperance is how much you eat and what you eat. Uh, when you eat a lot of processed foods, it's not good for your immune system, especially if they're high sugar foods. Remember, sugar will lower your immune system function uh, up to about 30%, if I remember my figures right. So uh, one of the things I do when I feel a cold or something coming on, one of the first things I do is cut out all processed sugar. So I'm not drinking um, any kind of sugary juices, um, eating donuts and all those sorts of things. I want to get my body uh, to uh, be as efficient as possible in fighting off something. The next letter is A, which stands for air. And I hope when you're outside gardening, you have good quality air to breathe. Um, it's good to get out of the enclosed places where germ count can be higher than they would be outside. Also, uh, you don't have to worry as much about social distancing because the slightest breeze will blow germs away. And uh, be sure to get out there and do some deep breathing. Uh, it helps with anxiety and stress. And one of the things I do is a five, six, seven regime with deep breathing. Uh, what I do is inhale for five seconds hold it for six seconds, and then exhale it slowly for seven seconds. And I'll repeat that up to nine times, but usually you only have to do it for about three, and you will feel your anxiety level be lower, your stress level will be lower, and I do this before I go to sleep at night, and it really helps. But if you have good quality air, this is an advantage to your immune system. So get out there and do some gardening. R is for rest, and did you know that your body heals itself while you're sleeping? And a good garden workout will help you to get better sleep as long as you don't overdo it. Uh, there have been times when I've worked very long periods of time in the garden and it actually hindered me from going to sleep because my body was aching everywhere. Now the last one is T and it stands for trust in God. And most people don't think about the spiritual aspect of gardening or the effect it can have on your immune system. But when I see seeds coming up out of the ground and watching my plants grow over the course of the season and then I start to harvest my crop. I'm very thankful to God 
for these blessings and uh, I'm in an attitude of thankfulness and I have an appreciation for all the rewards of the hard work that I did during the course of the year and for the rain that we received and things of that sort. And it brings me joy to, to enjoy this garden. And that attitude is much better for you than one where you have a complaining spirit. So all of these things together, New Start, will help you to keep your immune system in really good shape. And therefore, maybe, just maybe, you might not have to deal with COVID or a lot of other diseases. So I hope this has been helpful. And uh, be safe, be well. And this is Gary. Talk to you later.